hello everyone in today's session we are doing a sixth problem on module 1 so this is the given problem two generators are rated 10 mva 13.2 kilovolt 15 mva 13.2 kilovolt are connected in parallel so some of the problems in power system analysis they won't be given the one line diagram so, so just by seeing the given data you have to draw the one line diagram and you need to do the calculation so now observe here the two generators are connected in bus bar to a common connected in parallel to a bus bar so now consider the generator 1 and generator 2 these two are connected in parallel to a one common bus bar so after that what they have given they supply to a two motors if the inputs are 8 MVA and 12 MVA respectively and they also given the ratings of the motor and they have given a base power of 50 and 13.8 kilovolt. So next what we have to do it is understood that there is a two motor is there that is also connected in parallel consider M1 motor and M2 motor. So they have not mentioned about the transformer and transmission line in a given system. So consider these two bus bar are connected. This is not a transmission line because they have not given any data regarding the transmission line. So whatever the data mentioned here that will write first. So two generators are connected in parallel and even the two motors are also connected in parallel to a common bus bar. The rating of the generator 1 it is 10 MVA then 13.2 kilovolt the reactance is 0.15 per unit that is x is equal to similarly the second generator it is having the rating as 15 mva 13.2 kilovolt and the reactance x is equal to 0.15 Per unit. At last they have mentioned the reactance of the generator is 15% similarly for the motor is 20% it is. Now look at the rating of both the motors. So one is having 8 MVA then 12.5 kilovolt. Similarly other one is having 12 MVA 12.5 kilovolt and the X will be common 0.2 per unit it is. So now based on this we will proceed with the steps. The step 1 is choosing a base power and one important thing you have to observe here is the given the base power and the base voltage that is 50 MVA and also 20 kilovolt it is. So this is the base value and it is not they have not mentioned this is the base of which component. So that means this will be the common base value for the generator and also for the motor it is. So now proceed with the step. Step 1 is choosing a base power that is MVA base nu that is equal to 50 MVA. Similarly proceed with the step 2 that is kilovolt base nu that is equal to 13.8 kilovolt. So because they have not mentioned what value base it is. So generally they have given 50 and 13.8 will be the base value or the reference value. So that is understood that this will be the common base value for generator and also for the motor. And one important thing you have to observe here. Since there is no transformers are there in the given single line diagram. That means there will be no difference in voltage levels will be takes place. Same voltage on the generator and also same it will be going to the motor side. Hence, there will be no base calculation is required for such type of problems. So, directly we will proceed with step 3 because there is no transformer is given in the problem. There is no change in the base voltage will be takes place. So, base calculation is not there in the problem itself means directly we will proceed with step 3 that is the reactance calculation for the generator and also for the motor. Next is the per unit reactance calculation per unit reactance of generator 1. So use the same formula that is x per unit nu for generator 1 will be equal to x per unit old 
multiplied by MVA base nu divided by MVA base volt into kilo volt base square volt by kilo volt base square nu. So now we will write the data x per unit volt given in the problem for generator 1 as 0 0.15 multiplied by MVA base nu look at the step 1 value it is 50 divided by MVA base volt volt is given value it is 10 kilovolt base square volt volt is 13.2 kilovolt and nu will be this value will be the new value even for generator also that is 13.8 whole square so after substituting this we will get the answer as 0 0.686 per unit so this is the per unit reactance for generator 1. Next similarly do it for generator 2. Per unit reactance of generator 2. Again use the same formula. X per unit nu for generator 2 will be equal to X per unit old. Look at the given data 0 0.15. MVA base nu is step 1 value 50 divided by MVA base old old is nothing but 13.2 kilo sorry old is 15 MVA then kilo volt base square old old is nothing but 13.2 kilo volt new is nothing but step 2 answer that is 13 point old square so you will get the answer for the generator 2 as 0 0.457 per unit Similarly for the motor using the same formula x per unit volt will be equal to that is 0 0.2 percent 2 per unit multiplied by MVA base nu will be 50 MVA MVA base old will be 8 MVA multiplied by kilo volt base square old old is 12.5 and nu will be 13.8 kilo volt so as I told you this will be the common base new value and common base voltage for all the components in the given single line diagram. So that you will get the answer as 1 per unit. So next similarly for M2. Similarly have done for the per unit reactance calculation for the motor. 0 0.2 is the volt value and new will be the step 1. And this is the volt value MVA. It is 12 MVA. 12.5 is the volt value and the new value given in step 2 is 13.8 kilovolt. So next proceed with the last step drawing the per unit reactance diagram. See in last step drawing the per unit reactance diagram the two generators are connected in parallel with the two motors. So all the components are connected in parallel. Similarly we will write first we will write the two generators which are connected in parallel. And after that this is again connected through a bus bar and we have the two motors also there that is also connected in parallel. So this is the reactance diagram for a given single line diagram. So this will be the reference bus and we will mention all the components X generator 1, reactance of generator 2, motor 1.